Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Karita Mbagara, the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. Families are facing crisis during this period of COVID-19. And uh, I want to suggest some reasons as to why they may be experiencing this and lessons that we can draw by considering the first crisis that ever hit the family and how men who are supposed to be leaders and are supposed to be the priests in the family are uh, to respond to the issue. When you look at the Genesis chapter 3, that's where I find the first crisis that hit the family unit. The crisis was that there were unguarded gates. Man was supposed to offer leadership. He was the one who was supposed to speak as the spokesperson of the family. But instead, we find that the devil spoke to the woman. So there was breaking of the protocols, breaking of the order of things. And that is what was the beginning of trouble. When we allow outsiders to speak and give the direction that we should be taking as a family, there will be a problem. The second thing that I find is that there was passivity on the side of man. The Bible tells us that the woman was given the fruit she ate, she saw that it was good, and then she gave the man who was with her. There are two ways of reading that. Either the man was in a different part of the, of the garden when the woman was having the conversation, but still in the garden, and you could, one, one could still say that they were together. Alternatively, the man was there as the woman was talking, to the serpent, and we know that the serpent was being used by the devil, uh, but the man was passive. When a man is passive within the family, things will go wrong. Crisis will arise. So we have seen two things, unguarded gates, where we allow out outsiders to intrude, or passivity could be the other thing. The third one is that uh, there was neglected, uh, what I would say that man neglected his mandate. Man is the head. He is also the priest in the family. He was the one who was supposed to take charge of what was happening within the family. But this uh, a man, first man, Adam, was not taking that responsibility. Uh, I would say that also when we do not take what is our mandate, given by God as leaders, then there will be a crisis in the family. What is the mandate for man? He is supposed to offer leadership. What is leadership in the family setting? It is that he must come with a vision, uh, a vision that says this is where we want to be. This is where we will be in the future. But more than the vision, he has a mission. This is what we are doing to get to where we want to get. In other words, he has both a vision and a mission for the family. And if the man fails in that, then the family will not know the direction that they are supposed to, uh, to be taking. My question is, you as a man, a family man, are you offering this? Are you, you know, taking the, the position that is yours uh, God-given seriously so that you are not neglecting the responsibility that belongs to you. And, you know, are you helping your family to know where they are at in terms of where they are going? We find when you don't do that, there are consequences. And the consequences that followed were blame game. They started blaming each other. When God came calling and God asking, where are you? Uh, they, and they were found out and the conversation between them and God ensued, we find that the man is blaming the woman, the woman is blaming the serpent, nobody is taking responsibility for what they have done. Blame game. The other consequence is that, you know, they 
they were chased away. They were banished from the garden. And you need to read the passage. The Bible says they were told, you will live and uh, you will not enjoy the presence of God. There is nothing as bad in, as living without the presence of God. And indeed, God said, for the woman, there will be pain in childbearing. For the man who was supposed to be the leader, he was told, you will toil, you will work hard. So there was hardship that was, or toil that was given to man for him to be able to produce for his family. He had been having it easy, everything was provided for, but because of taking, you know, his job casually and his responsibility casually, he is punished by God. I want to urge you as a man to look into your situation. Are you allowing uh, doors to be broken down and people to come in, gates to be unmanned? Are you allowing outsiders to speak? Or is it that you are being passive? Or is it that you are neglecting this responsibility that is divine, divinely given to you? If you are doing any of those, then there will be a crisis in the family. And leadership starts by you examining and knowing what is the problem. Maybe um, for those who are not married, you're also included in this, in that before this in chapter 2, God had seen that there was loneliness that was plaguing man. And that's why he had provided a woman. I want to say for those who are unmarried, it is understandable that you'd be going through a lonely patch. But God is there to give you company, to see your need. And you can look up to him and he will sort you out. Don't give up, don't give in. God is the one who sees the challenge that you face and he will come through for you. I want to ask you um, to share this with others that you think can benefit for, uh, from what I have shared, but also be here next week when we uh, offer some suggestions as to what we can do when the crisis uh, has hit. Uh, and again, we will be learning from this, this very same passage. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and uh, be gracious to you and may the Lord give you peace even in this crisis. Amen. Amen.